there, you're watching Rose Card Reviews, I'm Melanie, and today we're going to be doing a book commercial. So I'm going to take a few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to a book, I have some here behind me that I'm going to talk about, and I will tell you what the book is about, one reason why I like it, and why you might want to read it. talk about today is The Princess Academy, or just Princess Academy, by Shannon Hale. Um, first of all, I cannot sing Shannon Hale's praises enough. She is such a good author. Her book Goose Girl is another one that made me cry. I'd probably be more than willing to talk about that one and give a book commercial, but I happen to own Princess Academy. And it is also an excellent book, so we are here today to talk about it. Like the title suggests, Princess Academy is about an academy for princesses. However, this isn't your typical princess academy. In this nation, in which the book takes place, there is a king, and a queen, and a prince, and a royal family, etc. And they also have this tradition, the priests or royal officials or some sort of person in that capacity, will predict the province of where the future queen will be found in. And this year, luck of the draw for this prince, his um, <laughs> prophesied province is a far isolated kind of mountain tribe. Um, well, not really a tribe. Listen, they mine... Um, Marble, essentially. They have a different name for it in the book, but they mine, these people live in the mountains and they mine marble, and so they're very hardworking. Um, but they're also kind of a little bit more blue collar than a lot of the other, like, more noble white collar, like, I am of noble blood <laughs> people that everyone would probably want the prince to marry or expect the prince to marry from. Uh, so this Princess Academy is instated for the girls on this mountain to be able to attend so that way when the prince comes to meet them they won't be totally lacking in social graces and they'll kind of have a head start on learning how to be a princess. So the main character, Miri, doesn't necessarily want to go to the Princess Academy. What she really wants is she wants to be able to work in the mine, to be able to mine the lender, which is what they call the marble. Um, even though her pa tells her she can't, um, and she wants to be able to be a part of that community. Something I enjoyed about this book is just the world is very fleshed out, especially the culture of the people on Mount Esco. And so that is just really brought to life, and then especially with their connection to the lender and to their work, it's just, it's just a great story. Um, very well written, lots of twists and turns, and just, just really well done. Like, I applaud. <laughs> so you should read this book if you appreciate stories about unlikely princesses. Um, and really, I mean, there's not really specific reasons that I can give, but you should just read this book. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this quick book commercial and that it gave you an idea of something that you might want to read. Um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, I would encourage you to subscribe. Uh, click the like button down below. I appreciate it. Also leave me a comment of a book that you think I should read. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.